basically have always been very shy about music. I played forever since I was a little kid, but about in 2005, 2006, I started writing a couple songs with a friend and we would record it at home with those cheap microphones you can find anywhere and we would call these songs Rosie and Me dot mp3 and I never told anyone about it and then this guy went and put all of our songs on the internet and apparently someone found it <laughs> and it started playing on radios and all so we were kind of forced to become a band so I just invited these guys to play along called Bird and Whale because I wrote most of it while I was living in the States. So it's about long distance relationships. It's real simple. It was recorded in about six months or so. Get close. It was also an, an, an unexpected surprise for us. Uh, it was our first time in a recording studio and we weren't expecting much up from it. So we're not all musicians, we all have like day jobs and things like that. So we tried to conciliate the two things. So it was a very interesting experience and the audience enjoys it because it's something simple and honest that people can relate to. So that makes us feel very happy and fulfilled about what we do. Arrow of My Ways was, we started recording it 2011. We set up a recording studio in my home, in the attic. It's like if your boyfriend or girlfriend is in a band and records you something. That's what Arrow of My Ways is. It's something real simple and humble that tells the story of a band, a small group. If I can write a song that can bring people some comfort, like when you put that record in your car, you just feel comfortable and fine. That's what we want to bring to people, you know, that feel, that feeling. We're really happy to be here. Check us out. Check us out if you can. See you guys.